and good morning internet. Here we are. We have ourselves a start to another day. Well, of course, it's going to be another one. Want to get some things done. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, one step at a time, one day at a time. Trying to get uh, one or two things done a day. Trying to get uh, moving, going back into a routine. Uh, sometimes things come into your life and things change. And then when those things change again, it's hard to get back to where you once was. Uh, if that kind of makes any sense. Well, yesterday I was kind of having a little bit of a rougher day. So I had me a little bit of a crash and um, lo and behold, there's a bang, bang, bang on the door. Uh, at first I thought I kind of had imagining it, you know, kind of like it didn't really happen, but I heard it happen, but it wasn't really there. And by the time I got to the door and uh, pulled back the curtain, um, the blue truck was already pulling away. And um, there's nothing in the mailbox, nothing on the door, nothing to say, you know, whatever is whatever is. And I kind of makes a guy wonder what, what's going on, you know. With all the thefts going on in the area and uh, weird stuff happening, your mind automatically goes to something like that. Rather than someone knocking on the door to pick his buddy up to go to work or or whatever is right somebody with a wrong address <clears throat> it wasn't a uh, Canada Post vehicle or even a private contractor because majority of those have decals on their vehicles and they're required if you're a private contractor to have some kind of decal to identify you your intentions or self as well so um, this guy here was kind of a mystery I have no idea what what it was about kind of makes you wonder right um, it is what it is, you know, you can't really stop somebody from stealing what you have. All you can do is slow them down a little bit or put deterrence in a way that um, might make them think twice about coming back, you know. I suppose if it's important, he'll come back again or come back with a letter or come back with a um, whatever, right? If it was a, uh, a YouTube fan or follower that uh, tracked me down, you know, um, dropped me a line on the social media so I know it was you and maybe we could make arrangements to um, come back and, you know, get back together or meet up for coffee somewhere. I apologize for not answering the door right away, but that's kind of the way she goes some days, right? Well, of course, like I said today, I've got a couple things I'd like to do. I'd like to uh, move the utility trailer into its spot. Uh, once that happens, it'll free up some space in the backyard so it doesn't look so cramped. I am gearing up. Um, I don't know if it's gonna happen over the Christmas break or early next year, but I would like to film another batch of fire pit videos. Traditionally, in the past, I try not to film in the snow in the winter because the ice, or uh, the snow melts and tends to run back into the fire pit, which then puts the fire out. So maybe I'll do a test fire and uh, see how well it works. If it works, then we'll film a batch. If not, then, well, it is what it is, right? I'm working on uh, another batch of video ideas for um, the newly named Fire Pit channel and we're gonna probably start a little bit of a video direction so uh, I know the Fire Pit videos are sometimes a little bit harder to film where if I had a bit of a variation of content on that channel then when there was a break like this in the Fire Pit videos that content would kick in and allow you know the fire pit videos to stretch that much further so 
last year was so crazy that uh, I didn't even get a chance to film any videos and the videos I was actually running off of last year were actually filmed in 2015 before the big big computer crash so um, the videos that we put up last year or you know this year kind of a thing were the ones I paid to have recovered the data from so I paid a fairly good price to get those videos back um, data recovery is expensive considering um, the videos that were on that hard drive that I remember were on there that I know I did not delete because I still had to edit them and considering the videos I got back there wasn't really a lot of videos uh, a lot of content uh, recovered off that hard drive there was a lot of garbage and mixed content that wasn't part of my hard drive that I remember anyway but um, I forget what there was. Was there almost two terabytes of recovered data? But however, realistically speaking, there was probably only about 500 gigabytes of actual usable content. <laughs> so yeah, I suppose you do it once. You kind of remember your mistake and you try not to uh, let it happen a second time to uh, put that kind of expense out again, you know. I sort of was under the impression that data recovery was going to be a little bit better than what it turned out to be, and I was a little bit wrong, but I guess that's how you learn, right? You uh, admit your mistakes, learn from your mistakes, and uh, try not to do it again. But pretty much, guys, got me some coffee going. Gonna probably... Uh, watch the news get on with the old day like i said got a few things i'm wanting to do and around we roll here we are we come to the end of another day well it was a good day it was a little bit of a steady day i got a few things done when uh, i was able to a few more things off the list which most definitely is a plus we got the uh, utility trailer moved back into the corner where uh, she belongs and now a guy can uh, kind of clean up the yard a little bit from being a storage area to, well, a yard itself. Um, with uh, things happening the way they did, uh, again this here fall, some things didn't get uh, put back for the winter and uh, the fall cleanup won't didn't happen the way that it was supposed to happen. Well, I apologize for not doing a lot of vlog check-ins today, but sometimes that's the way she works out. Some days are slower and you're allowed her able to do them, and the next days are a little bit busier or faster, and well, it doesn't happen like they need to happen. But remember, we do have a fan mail box for all your fan mail needs. The address is down below as well as social media links and links to my other YouTube channels. Go check them out if you'd like. Give us a like, send us a tweet, send us a follow, all that good stuff. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's Vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.